Hello guys. Today is a feature quest on how to make acceleration. Everything that you see on the screen is a whole logic. Uh, so basically I'm using timeline because uh, it can work with curves and depending on the curve shape I can get different results. My curve is from 0 to 1 and that means that, uh, for instance, on the event begin play, I can set the play rate of timeline, and with this formula, one divided by the another float, we lead to, uh, like, if I have three seconds, it will be updating three seconds. If I have five seconds, then it will be five seconds. So I don't need to adjust the length inside my uh, timeline. So it's very universal. Uh, behavior. Next thing is that I'm updating the max walk speed of our character movement every frame. Uh, it's not a big deal because uh, if you take a look at the event graph, uh, move forward and move right, uh, default input events are actually uh, executing every frame also. So, next, uh, yeah, one more thing. I have walk speed. Uh, by default it's 150 and acceleration modifier by default it's 1. Multiplying these two values is our max walk speed. Uh, so uh, the reason I've gone with 150 here because uh, for the third person character in the animation blueprint uh, the state when the, per the character is uh, just walking without running is 150 units. Uh, and uh, I'll want to change it uh, like acceleration refine from 1 to 4. So uh, the speed will be 600. And uh, due to the animation blueprint, our character, uh, the animation will be as the running one. So next is the modify key for the acceleration of running. Here you can see I have also Boolean, it's stopped. Uh, and uh, this one is needed to uh, work to get work around uh, uh, of some uh, corner cases. Uh, for instance, if we are running and then we uh, stopped, then when we need to run again, we need to play the animation from the start. But if we are running and then we stop pressing uh, our run key, we need to slowly. Uh, slow down and then when we are actually running also if we press our modifier key we need from that point to play animation normally so if we are not stopped we are playing our animation if we have been stopped we need to start our animation from the beginning here you can see uh, I'm lurking between 1 and 4, because my timeline starts with 0. So, if it's a 0, it means it's 1. If it's 1, it means that we're going to uh, take the value of 4 here. And we set acceleration modifier. Then we check on character last update velocity. If the length of this vector equals 0, it means that we uh, start immediately. If it's so, we need to uh, trigger the custom event. I call it stop acceleration. Uh, it will set acceleration modifier back to default, and it will stop the whole animation, the whole timeline cycle. Uh, and when we start running again, uh, this condition will trigger, and it will work from the start. On the release key, we need to check whether uh, we have been stopped. If it's uh, not, uh, then we should go with the reverse and we need to play our animation backwards. Uh, if we have been stopped immediately, then this one will trigger. So that's how it works. Uh, I hope you like what you've seen. I have Patreon, I have Discord, so please uh, like, if you like to support, you can go to Patreon. If you like to 
chat or to leave your request go to discord subscribe and uh, see you soon